everybody. My name is Fiona, Fiona Fitzpatrick. I'm the 2021 Insurance Apprentice winner. And today I'm catching up with the top 12 contestants of the Insurance Apprentice 2022. And today I'm speaking to Simon. Congratulations, Hello, Simon. Fiona. <laughs> Congratulations on your position in the top 12. Um, it's a super fantastic achievement and it's a real honor to be speaking to you today. So in order for us to be here right now, you've competed in the first round of the competition. And because of getting the highest score in your session, you have been chosen to go through to the next round. So let's hear a little bit more about Simon. Tell me, please, okay. where do you work? Who is Simon? Okay. I'm an insurance broker. Um, I do commercial lines, I do agri-lines, personal engineering, uh, HCV. All right, so what are you most excited about in terms of the competition going forward? I think the most excitement is putting you together in a group, um, doing as a group and yeah, competing next to other group. And then at the end, you as an individual. Um, I believe that is the core thing. How do you operate as an individual? Do you have the skill, the knowledge, all that kind of stuff in the coming weeks? Yeah, it, is, it definitely gets put to the test and the challenges that are presented, um, as well as how well you work in a group. That's, the, you know, mm. when there is group challenges, because that's that, for some people, that's very difficult. Um, yeah, so, no, all group creation. Mm, and, and what are you most nervous about in terms of the competition? I think it's the whole, eh? because they can throw a curveball at you, you can have an off day, you can feel sick in the morning, so... It's a lot of internal and external factors, but I'm nervous about the whole thing. But yeah, I think I can push through and maybe win it. Mm, that's exciting. So do you like the virtual format or do you think that you're missing out on that in-person experience? Um, or do you actually prefer being, being virtual? I like the virtual and I miss the uh, personal. I would go like for hybrid, like the first few seasons, maybe just virtual. It's more convenient, easier. Um, doesn't take a lot of skill to do the multi-choice, I believe, like example on the last season, like episode nine, if you're going to do episode nine. So hybrid model, I think is a good thing to do. Or you, yeah, the online one. You're bringing up episode nine. Are you talking about my wonderful driving skills? Big important. Episode nine from last season. Are you talking about our wonderful driving skills that we showed at Discovery? <laughs> no, no, that, that, that one I think was seven, eh? The last one I'm talking oh. about, the Marsh one. The Marsh one at that. Yeah. All right, episode nine, that the final one. one. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah the, that, the Discovery one also looked nice. That, that also yeah, looked nice. That, that, that they were both they were both equally challenging as they were uh, difficult, um, but they, they they were a lot of fun at the end of the day. Um, looking yeah. back on them, they were fun, but in the moment it was quite stressful. Um, <laughs> so, do you know who the task sponsors are, and are you particularly nervous for the challenges that one or two might bring to you? Or I know that the, the task it is AG, Smosh, All Art. Um, discovery and on Sashua, I think Sashua is going to be the last one or the first one that depends. And then the other insurer that's, uh, that's sponsoring, I think it's going to be like last year, um, some kind of segment or product they're offering. They want some knowledge from all the guys because they're also doing knowledge finding from the people that um, the participants. So, yeah, I think Sashua is the big question. Um, What's going to happen is going to be the first one or the last one. Mm, and I think the I think the Sajira topic will be quite big. Um, I've spoken to a few people so far, and they've all brought Sajira up. Um, and do you have obviously any predictions of the topics that are going to be brought up? Like, do you think it's going to be a lot on what happened last year with Sajira, or do you feel that there's going to be other like pertinent topics that are brought to these challenges? Uh, I'm going to believe it's going to be parts of everything. Sajira, COVID, how the whole insurance environment is changing, the new uh, World Health Organization points. Because we're entering, the, we already entered the fourth industrial revolution, and yeah, a few years we're going to be in the fifth industrial revolution. So I believe it's going to be a combination of everything. That can be the answer, I think. Mm, yeah, I think it'll be interesting to see how it's framed this year, because... Yeah, like you say, there's a lot changing, there's a lot going on. 
So, I mean, leading up to the uh, leading up to the elimination round, and um, how did you prepare? And do you feel that you've still got a lot of preparation to do for the next for for for, for the next challenges that you'll be facing? I feel going forward, I have a lot of preparation. Um, it's understanding all the reading material that I gave you. Um, you must put that in a packet and a folder and access all the time. If applicable, pull out of that file. It's applicable to that scenario. So yeah, I think um, after tomorrow, um, I will be uh, the preparing. I'll be right for the next couple of weeks as laying it forward. So yeah, I think I'm ready. Cool, that's exciting. Um, and why did you enter? Why did you enter the competition? Okay, I think the big one what I uh, achieved over the couple of two years from 2020 to now is just show me I have the capable, uh, capabilities to become one of the best FAs in the industry. So, yeah, and this competition also is like a benchmark for me, benching myself. And if I can win it at the end of the day, it just shows me the thing I believe I can be one of the best FAs in the industry. That's, 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 that's a big, that's a big uh, goal to set for yourself. I think we all, everybody individually wants to win the thing, but yeah, I'm ready. I'm in it for to win it. And yeah, let's see what happens to it. Um, it's going to be difficult, but I'm up for it. And what would winning the competition mean to you? Winning the competition for me, I think it will show me what I believe I can be one of the best FAs and I can make a whole difference in the industry because I just want to, want to be the normal broker, that kind of stuff. I want to be, I'll make a difference in the whole industry like last year with the COVID, the BI, that kind of stuff. I want to show at the end of the day my customers are, are looked after and if something happened, it'll become in the same position they were poor, poor to the accident or whatever that happened. So that is the yeah. biggest thing for me. It's really, really cool. Really, really good purpose. Um, so Simon, thank you so much for your time. I know that you've got a little bit of preparation to do um, leading up for the challenges that are lying ahead. Um, I'm holding thumbs for you, but I've got to say that I'm holding thumbs for everybody because it's such an awesome mm -hmm. achievement to already be in the top 12. Um, well done for entering. And I look forward to watching your insurance apprentice journey um, this year. So thanks, for luck. Um, I really appreciate it. And all the best. That's it. Holding thanks. thumbs. Okay, bye bye. Bye.